cold out there today. I'm sure uh, there's some ice freezing, right? Yes, yeah, significantly. <laughs> At least the top layer is definitely for sure exactly. frozen off. But with the warm up coming our way, yeah. I mean, those who are hoping to get out on the ponds anytime soon, probably not going to happen to wait a through bit, New Year's. Yeah, yeah going to have to wait uh, quite a bit longer. But yeah, it's certainly a cold start this morning. Yeah. We're yes. in the teens. So bundle up as you're heading on out the door this morning. The other thing we have is we have a cloud cover. Now, the difference between the fact that we had the cloud cover this morning and yesterday morning was the cloud cover yesterday rolled in very early, so temperatures really didn't have a chance to cool off. While as last evening, we were clear throughout a good portion of the night, and then the clouds started to move in this morning. So temperatures were allowed to cool very efficiently overnight, and as we get going this morning, we're starting out in the teens, and we're going to see a lot of this cloud cover as we head through the day today. There will be some breaks of sun here and there. I think the best chance for us to see some sunshine will be as we push towards the late afternoon hours. We start to get closer to sunset, we'll see a bit more in the way of clearing take place. And if you do have plans this evening, you're going to be just fine. It is going to be another cold night tonight, though. Temperature is going to dip down into the upper teens and lower 20s once again. So as far as today is concerned, mostly cloudy sky starting out in the teens into the 20s by late morning, mid to upper 30s this afternoon. So we're actually going to be running a few degrees above normal for this time of year, but the breeze is going to pick back up today. Winds out of the southwest at around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Could see an occasional gust here 20. So that wind is going to make it feel a bit chillier out there. And then we'll see temperatures drop through the 30s and into the 20s heading into the overnight. But we're dry for the next couple of days. Our next weather maker is going to come in here right on in for New Year's Eve, unfortunately. Looks like we'll see rain Saturday night into the first part of the day on Sunday. We are talking about the potential for a soaking rain, half an inch to an inch of rainfall. And right now the timing looks like that if you are heading out for New Year's Eve, you're going to want to keep the umbrella handy. And I think it's a wet start New Year's Day as well before we start to dry things out in the afternoon. And perhaps on Sunday, we'll see some afternoon sunshine. So a warming trend headed our way into 2023. But unfortunately, we are tracking rain to ring in the new year. And then as we head on into the first week of 2023, looks like we're going to start off dry and brisk, but then we may get a bit unsettled heading into the mid part of next week. But with temperatures above normal, once again, we are talking about mainly rain. So about 39 today, and then we get a bit warmer still on both Thursday and Friday, mid 40s on Thursday, and then back near 50 as we head on into the day on Friday. So temperatures are going to go above normal and they're going to remain above normal right on through the upcoming holiday weekend and even heading on into the beginning of next week, though temperatures cool back into the 40s. You're still talking about temperatures running a good 10 to almost 15 degrees above where we should be for this time of year. So the mild air, as it starts to move on in, it will be sticking around for a while. Satellite and radar, though, as you can see, a mainly cloudy start as we get going this morning, and the clouds will be with us throughout much of the day today. Some breaks of sun here and there. Skies become partly cloudy tonight as we drop back into the upper teens and lower 20s. Sunshine and clouds tomorrow, mid-40s, and then back to mostly cloudy skies on Friday with highs near 50. New Year's weekend looking mild, though a bit unsettled for New Year's Eve and at the beginning of New Year's Day. And then as we head on into the first week of 2023, the above normal temperature trend will continue. That's Check Your Forecast. Have a great morning. Amanda, David, over to you. Thanks, Don. Well,